So welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing two very basic states. We're going to be doing a simple state and a negative state. Now, why do we do stains, Brendan? Well, generally, we use stains in order to visualize our microbes because they don't actually reflect light generally. Some may on their own, but not all of them do. So stains will help us visualize what we're actually working with. And based on the visualization, we can tell basic morphology. Right. Whether it's a cocci, a bacillus, or a... Spirochete. Spirochete? Spirochete. Spirochete. No, it's a spirochete. It's probably a spirochete. Anyway. Anyway. So bacteria have a slightly negative charge. So we use different charges on the stains based on what we want to see from the organism. In a simple stain, because the bacteria is slightly negative, we use a positive stain. So what it does is it actually stains the bacteria itself. So now I can see the colony, or the actual bacteria morphology. Right. On the other hand, a negative stain, we use a negatively charged dye, which the bacteria repels, giving us something like this, where the dye will stain the background, but not the actual organism. So let's stain. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to demonstrate how to do a simple stain, how to set up the slide for it, and flood the slide. So first I'm going to take my loop, as always, aseptic technique, flame your loop, from the loop all the way down the stem. Okay. Now I'm going to set it off to the side for a brief second to prep my water. Now you'll be using a sink to transfer, but since I don't have a sink, I'm going to be using my water bottle, which is super handy dandy. I'm going to get a small amount of water on my loop. You can see it's sizzling. That loop is still hot. It's okay, I don't have any bacteria yet. Right now I'm just transferring water. So I have my plain slide, and I'm just gonna put a drop of water in the center of the slide and sort of swish it around a tiny bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna reflame my loop. And again, not waving your loop around. Don't get too much on it. We're just transferring from the bacteria that we want, nothing else from the environment. How many coconuts do I have? Uh, a lovely bunch, I believe. And I think they're standing in a row. Probably, but they could be diagonal. Some of them might be big. Don't think so. No? Some of them are small? Yeah. If you've watched other videos, you know I sing the coconut song while I'm waiting for my lip to dry. Or to cool, rather. Okay, so I'm going to transfer a small amount of E. coli to my water droplet on my slide. And again, you just need to touch just a tiny bit of the culture. In fact, I probably got a bit much there. You might think you're only getting a tiny, tiny bit amount on there, but you are literally getting hundreds of thousands of bacteria on that slide. And I want to spread it around so that I have a nice, thin colony area for me to see. All right, and again, I'm going to flame my loop. And I'm going to set it off to the side. And you're going to let your slide completely air dry. So there's no longer any moisture on the slide and it looks completely dry. And then I've already pre-dried a slide here. So I'm going to take my super handy dandy apparatus super fancy, we love science, and I'm going to heat fix the bacteria to the slide. And heat fixing has a couple of purposes. One, it's going to kill the bacteria, and two, it's going to adhere it permanently to the slide. To heat fix the slide, you're just going to pass it over your open flame two to three times very quickly. And now my bacteria are fixed to the slide, and they are now dead. Now, if you remember from the tutorial, a simple stain consists of a positive stain attaching itself to the negative bacteria. In this case, I'm going to flood the slide with safranin. But you can use safranin, crystal violet, or methylene blue. They will all do the same thing. Flooding your slide, you're really just going to squirt the crap all over your recently dried and fixed bacteria. And I'm going to let it sit for 30 to 60 seconds. During that time, it's going to adhere to the bacterial cells and nothing else. Once 
Since the time has elapsed, carefully transfer your slide to your water area and gently rinse the slide. And again, you'll be using a sink to rinse your slide while I'm using a water bottle and a container. Once it's complete, set your slide off to the side and allow it to dry. And now you're ready to visualize. And that's a simple stain. All right, so in this portion, we'll be demonstrating a negative stain. And just like the chemistry is different between the two stains, so too is the procedure. In this case, what we're actually gonna start with is our negative stain. In this case, it is Congo Red. So we'll be putting one drop of Congo Red on our slide as such. Awesome. Then we will take our loop, flame it as we've been doing, and sing whatever song comes to heart. Personally, you know, mine's a secret, but some people like to share theirs. Ruins the magic, but that's fine. We will then wait for it to cool as such. Tap it against your auger if you're not quite sure. If it hisses, it is too hot. If it doesn't, you're good to go. Awesome. With that, we'll take a loop full of whatever organism we happen to be plating at the time, mix it in with our dye thoroughly as to evenly and completely, so thoroughly, dispense it about, and then flame your loop with the dye on it. It's much better to flame it with the dye than to wash it off and get microbes into the pipes and such. Awesome. With that, put your loop off to the side and you're ready for the next part. This is where things get a little tricky. If you've ever smeared blood before, perhaps this will be easier to you, but if you haven't, what you're going to do is angle your slide at a 45 degree angle, just like you do with your loop. What you're going to do then is to back it up to the die, the second slide. Once the die has moved across the base of your second slide, you're then going to drag it across the first slide. What you should then have is a lovely streak across the slide. As you can see here, once your slide is actually dried, it turns a little bit crusty and nothing comes off if you shake it gently. That means you are completely ready to visualize, and as you can see, the slide is thin. Now, it's very important that during this process you don't actually heat fix your slide because you may destroy the bacterial cell. And what the whole point of a negative stain is to visualize the morphology. And if you destroy the cell, there is no morphology. 